Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So I'll just continue where I left off in the previous tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, I taught you about the manual page of crunch. So uh, over here, we will be generating some simple uh, word list for password cracking. And I'm assuming over here that we already know the company has passwords between four to eight characters. So we will be generating all the possibilities in the crunch by going ahead and typing. I'll just go ahead over here and I'll just type crunch. Now I'll type 4 space 8. So uh, now crunch will now generate the uh, these amount of bytes. So now it will go ahead and generate all the passwords from uh, 4 to 8 bits. So uh, it will be uh, very long. So when I execute this statement, crunch estimates how long the file will be. So I'll just go ahead and cancel this. And the reason being that it will take a total of approximately uh, 1 to 4 GB because it has a number of passwords. So I won't go ahead and run this as of now. So what if we knew the target always uh, uh, used password from 6 to 8 characters? Because 4 to 8, people don't use 4 to 8 characters. Let's be realistic. People use uh, characters that are that should be like uh, around minimum of 6 characters in uh, at, at the le least. And it can be up to like 10 characters. But for this tutorial purpose, I'll be using 6 because I don't want to hang my PC. The reason being that it's only working on 1 GB RAM and I don't want to crash it. So I'll just go ahead and use 6 to 8 and I'll just go ahead and let's specify it a bit more. Let's Let's assume that we could generate uh, what if we knew that uh, we could generate a complete list of password possibilities missing meeting this criteria and send them to a file in the root user directory called as numeric word list period lst so i will be creating a password between six to eight digits and uh, i will be going ahead and transferring it to into the root directory so i'll just type six to eight and i'll type one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero hyphen o and i'll type slash root slash numeric underscore word list period lst and i'll hit enter it will now generate the passwords and as you saw over here how many it was so if we knew the target's birthday was july 28 as i told you in the previous tutorial and they likely used it's likely that they will use that date because people people often use their birth dates in their password to make it easier to remember so at the end of the 10 character password, we could generate all the possibilities of the 10 character password that end with 0728, that's July 28. So it'll send the output to a file in the root users directory named as birthday word list by typing something. Let me just uh, complete this thing and I'll go ahead and start with that. Or I will just go ahead and cancel this because it's still at uh, 25 lakhs i believe and it will go up to nine 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 so i'll just go ahead and stop that because that's not making any sense so now i'll go ahead and generate uh 10 um total of 10 uh new uh, word list that's 10 character word list and which will end with the 0728 so i'll just type c-r-u-n-c-h and by that time i'll just go ahead and delete my word list both of them Perfect. I'll just type crunch space 10 space 10 and I'll type space hyphen T and I'll type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 7, 2, 8 and it's still 6, 7. Perfect. And I'll type hyphen O and I'll type slash root slash and let's say it since it's a uh, birth today. So list period lst perfect okay maximum length should be the same size as the pattern you specified in then so okay so i used a total of sorry perfect so now i'll just go ahead and hit enter so uh this at the rate is used to represent a wild card of all possibilities so while the literal means that these are the fixed values so it will go ahead and generate a word list which has 0728 in fixed at the end but these will vary these six digits it can be numbers characters digits anything so complex word list with crunch is that one of the beauties of crunch is the ability to select a specific character set 
or create your own character set for generating our part password list. If we know the likely character set the target is using for their password, we can select the character set to generate our password list. So now if you know that our target is using an 8 character password with only alphabetic characters, we can generate a password, uh, generate a list of all the possibilities in crunch with um, a command that I would be showing you. So just let's first let this complete and I'll show you after that. Forty one percent is completed. I believe we should already have a word file over here which should have started. Start okay. Root perfect, let it complete. It's about to end. These are the total pa uh, passwords that we would be getting right now. Almost done. Perfect. Just go ahead and open that right now. My birthday list is created, so I'll just go ahead and open that. Okay, let me check. Could allocate. Okay, so it won't be able to open. The reason being that uh, it has uh, lots of files, so I cannot open it with a leaf pad because leaf pad does not support that. So I'll just open it with G Text Editor, and uh, I'll just go ahead and cancel this. Uh, the reason being that I'm canceling is that because, trust me you would not want to go ahead and open this file. Uh, it will contain all the files, but just think, it's trying to go ahead and open, I'll just go ahead and show you. It's trying to, uh, so what I am, we are trying to do over here is we are trying to open these many uh, numbers of words created. And leafpad cannot go ahead and open that, and as you can see that this is going on increasing, so these are all the possible uh, words that can be uh, the password for that. As you can see, the last four digits are fixed, only the first six digits have changed. So I will not uh, wait till this has completed, I'll show you another example by that point of time. Perfect. So uh, what if we knew that our target is using an 8 character password with only alphabetic characters. So now I'll go ahead and generate a word list with only 8 characters, I'll just type crunch space 8 space 8, I'll type hyphen f slash user slash share and rainbow crack and I'll just type character set txt and I'll type mix alpha hyphen o slash root slash alpha word list period lst for this period lst perfect i'll just go ahead and hit enter okay mix alpha not found okay let me perfect i misspelled it so these are the total password it's generating so just think what you did over here you generated so many passwords and so there's not any single possibility that you won't be able to go ahead and crack this thing because now if you know that our target is using 8 character password with only alphabetic characters we could do this or I have one more option for you because instead of doing that uh, I'm just showing you how to do that you can take your own time at your own place and go ahead and complete or create that password so now if we know that our character is only using an 8 character password with only alphabetic characters I can go ahead and do that by using this mix alpha o but there is one more method I'll just type the same thing but it would be a bit different I'll just type the same that crunch uh, 88 hyphen f and user share rainbow care character set mix alpha o root word list so this will go ahead and create that specific thing this will uh, generate all the 8 character passwords using only alphabetic characters no numbers or no special characters and storing them in a file called as alpha wordlist period lst in the root users directory. <coughs> so 
So while cracking passwords, there are multiple methods of cracking unknown passwords. These include dictionary, rainbow table, brute force and others if we know that parameters of the uh, password or we know something about the target and their possible passwords such as birthday, pet name, spouse, etc. Crunch can be extremely useful tool for generating specific word lists to be used in a dictionary like attack. So yeah, uh, that is it for this tutorial. Stay tuned on these tutorials on password cracking for more guides and there would be one final tutorial before I go ahead and complete the password cracking chapter in whole. So that's it for these tutorials, have fun guys.